So I've just gone and bought my most expensive smart home gadget and I'm really hoping it's good. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. So today, well, yeah, I'm going through quite possibly what is my most expensive smart home gadget to date. Uh, I can't think of anything really smart home related that I've gone and bought that is, has been as expensive as this. Um, most of my devices are between the 10 and 20 pound mark, something like that. Um, you know, security cameras being the exception, I guess, you know, they're around about the 100, 150 pound mark. Even my Nook, you know, that was um, that was used off eBay and uh, that, that was only 150 odd pounds. So this kind of dwarfs uh, all of that in that price. Um, so yeah, what is it? Well, um, we had some new uh, bifold doors fitted recently and we had uh, to get new blinds for those doors. So a really exciting smart home gadget. It is a set of blinds for uh, that big open area and um, we decided after looking around a lot uh, certainly in the UK uh, in terms of kind of like smart motorized blinds they were all really far more expensive than what you know I've gone paid here um, and couldn't really find anything that was super compatible with uh, you know maybe like Zigbee or anything like that so um, I saw a review of uh, these smart wings blinds on another YouTube channel. Um, they seem to be highly rated and certainly customer reviews of them uh, on, on things like Trustpilot are you know really right up there. So I went onto the Smartwings website. It's all very good and everything, good range of products there. Uh, I must say, you know, this isn't a sponsored video. You know, I've paid for this with my hard-earned money. Um, but basically, you know, with it being such a big blind, uh, obviously it wasn't going to be cheap. Um, but you know the website's great you can pick out your your blind the type that you want um so we went for something which uh, was a hundred percent blackout and um you know put in the sizes and everything uh we wanted um you know you've got a choice of motors with this so you can have you know zigbee you can have um you know something that just hooks up with alexa you can have matter you can have z wave you know all all combination things obviously they're all slightly different prices um, I've got Zigbee uh, devices on my network, so Zigbee was the one that I was interested in here, um, and I can integrate it with with Alexa anyway. So wasn't really much point in just going for the Alexa version. Um, but yeah, once I've gone and configured all of that, I think it was about um, well, it came out to about three hundred and fifty pounds in the end. Uh, I got stung ten pound by the credit card company uh, for foreign money exchange, but you live and learn. Um, Smart Wings is an American company. Uh, they, you know, they they ship all around the world. Shipping is included in the price. What I will say is, during the kind of like the measuring process, the their customer support was absolutely superb. I must have fired um, probably you know ten fifteen questions to uh, the their customer support, just asking for kind of like guidance on the measuring measuring of this opening. Um, kind of like what the factory will deduct when when they get the measurements and all that kind of stuff so really rapid uh, response from the customer support um, so the order went in and probably uh, I guess two weeks went by um, and the the blinds appeared at the house you know they've been shipped from China so you know the company's based in America they get shipped from their factory in China and um, Boy, was it a long box. Unfortunately, I haven't got the unboxing part of this. I was too eager to, to get going on this. But you can see here, um, you know, how long this particular blind is. You know, we, we've gone for one which has got, you know, the fabric on kind of like a set at the top and everything. So depending upon the size of your blind, uh, you'll, you'll get a number of these brackets. Uh, so with this one, the width that we've got here, uh, this was three brackets and these are just kind of like um, spring-loaded brackets so you fix them up uh, or you fix them back against the wall wh whatever is the uh, kind of like fixing best fixing position for you and um, yeah just a couple of screws and roll plugs to, to go in so we have three of those uh, so obviously one each end and one in the middle and then it's just a case of lifting your blind up and uh, kind of uh, fitting it pushing it back and clicking it into into place 
Uh, probably an awful lot easier with two people, but I did this by myself. But it was it was pretty straightforward to get installed, I must admit. Um, you know, I'm always a bit dubious about something like this. Now, on the website, it says, you know, the remote control is kind of like a recommended and a kind of like minimum of one. So you need that really just for all kind of um, your setup, uh, you know, of your blind when, when you, you first get it going. So um, nice little remote control, just got some simple buttons on it, very stylish, very thin. You get this nice little mounting bracket, a uh, couple of screws in the wall and away you go and it just slides in there. Um, but you know we we rarely use the remote control once it's it's all set up so um, you know it, it very much is I guess you know you you can probably get um, a you know, multi-channel one if you've got more of these blinds around your house that's probably where it'd be a bit more beneficial so out of the box the blind was charged to about 60 odd percent something like that so uh, needed to charge it to 100 percent which gives you about six months worth of um, usage uh, they say um, you get a cable in the box. It's absolutely massive. I mean, you know, it easily reaches from the blind to um, a, a relatively nearby uh, ele electrical socket. But you know, you do have the option of going for the solar panel if you would rather use one, um, you know, one of those to kind of like keep your battery topped up. So once you've got it all charged up, uh, next bit then was really just getting it all paired up with uh, Zigbee. So I'm using Zigbee to MQTT um, on Home Assistant. So uh, there's a little button, uh, the motor on mine, I've had it positioned on the right hand side. So you hold that button down for six seconds. The blind does kind of like a little dance and the, uh, you know, the, the, the motor area flashes a, a little light. Um, I'd already gone and set Zigbee to uh, MQTT up to um, be able to receive new devices. And in just a couple of seconds, it shows up there in the device list and then it, it completes the um, the pairing of it really simple process worked first time super impressed by that and um, i could immediately start controlling it uh, via um, you know what the device exposes uh, in zigbee to mqtt now once i've got it all set up in home assistant uh, so giving it a nice name and all that kind of stuff um, you know i've actually got a, a tile card here i can open and close it via that if I want to. Um, I've also exposed the, uh, the device through to my smart speaker, which is Alexa in this instance. And um, as you can hear, Alexa, close the dining blind. It's so responsive, uh, you know, there is barely any delay at all. I was really hoping, um, you know, it was going to be as quick as that. Um, but yeah, absolutely great. It's not that loud. Um, you know, you obviously, you know, it is, it is a motor, so you've got to expect some kind of noise. But, you know, it's really, really quite quiet as a, as a blind motor. So as I say, inside Home Assistant, uh, you know, I can set it up. I've got a nice little card for it there to cover card. Um, you know, if you find that you're blind uh, with your home assistant set up, you know, it kind of goes the opposite way to the way that you can control it. Um, you can either change all of that around with the remote control and the kind of like the, the blind itself. That's what I did. Super simple process to go and do that. Alternatively, uh, you can kind of like hack around a bit in, in Home Assistant to uh, to go and have it flip the other way. I would just go with uh, using the remote control to go and do it. it. It's just dead simple to go and do. So in Zigbee to MQTT, what you get exposed for the blind, you've got the current states are open, closed, or you can stop it. You've got the position of it as a percentage. Um, you've got your battery level and uh, you've also got your link quality as well. Not any, anything else for it I'm not sure what else you could have uh, for a blind but yeah it, you know pretty straightforward from uh, from those things that are exposed there when you go into home assistant itself uh, it, it kind of exposes slightly less to be honest so you've you've kind of got your controls for it but then you've got your battery level and uh, link quality doesn't show anything it says it's unavailable so fairly basic to be honest with you but um, you know, you can set this up in automations, really quite uh, quite straightforward to go and do that. So I've got mine set to close uh, just after sunset and then it opens up 
at 7 a.m. in the morning. So what I will be doing in the future, uh, you know, probably when we start to come round towards summer again and it starts to get a bit uh, warmer in the room, is really kind of hooking up um, you know, the blind with my Akara temperature sensors so that as the room starts to warm up and the sun's coming through the, the window as it will start to close the blind a bit, keep the room a bit cooler. Um, but you know, at the moment, I've just got the basic stuff set up there. So there you go. That is the Smart Wings Zigbee Smart Blind. Um, my impressions of this are extremely high. Uh, you know, it's so unusual to buy a smart product that's just worked first go. Certainly, at kind of like this this kind of cost. The, the quality of the blind itself is is really really good. The whole experience, the website, the support, the delivery. Everything absolutely spot on, but the the self-install, really straightforward process. Uh, probably the most complicated thing of this whole thing was probably just the measuring out and um, just making sure those brackets were all lined up properly. But um, yeah, you know, if you're in the market for getting something like this, then um, it, well, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Uh, if you're looking for smart blinds, as I say, you know, there's a multitude of different motors there. Um, the product's got three years warranty. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. You know, have you thought about something like this, you know, some kind of smart blind? Have you gone and got something like this installed? Have you, are you using this? Are you using, uh, you know, another brand or something like that? Have you gone down a different route? Maybe, uh, you know, just bought the motor and put it into a, a standard blind, you know, to, to get it working that way. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, it really does help.